Review number 1 After reading some reviews I expected a nice, but smelly couch that would have unmanageable cushions and misaligned hardware. I appreciate the cautions of others because it made me take extra care to follow directions. I also watched the video that was on the Amazon website. I put the sofa together alone in about an hour while my grandson was napping. I live on the first floor, so I didn't have trouble with stairs. The sofa is a little less deep than I anticipated, but it is very comfortable and fits well in my apartment. It does have a little chemical odor, but it is fading after only a few hours. For the money spent, this is a good purchase. Review number 2 I received this earlier today. First let me say, I am glad I have this love seat. For what I paid, it definitely serves its purpose until I find exactly what I want. I needed something temporary to sit on to watch television, this is perfect. I was able to put it together without a hitch and it looks and feels fine. But, if Serta has been making furniture for 80 years, or whatever, and has partnered with True Designs, whoever that is, I'd say, Houston, we've got a problem. There is no doubt, the corduroy fabric and throw pillow print are reminiscent of 1974. It is a perfect temporary piece of furniture, which I can't imagine lasting any appreciable amount of time, and it is impossible for me to believe the list price some sites have, which varies from $525 to $1000. Edit. I haven't owned this for two months, have used it even less, and the springs in the seat cushions are squeaking. Also. The raised part of the corduroy is peeling off the fabric backing. I understand this is not an expensive piece of furniture but money is money, and I feel mine could have been better spent elsewhere. Review number 3 I gotta say, for the price, this couch is awesome. Don't expect it to be huge or plush, because it really isn't. That's the point for an apartment couch that comes packed in a box. Set it up all by myself within 30 minutes. The fabric feels really good, and the cushions are comfortable. The seat depth just isn't long enough for someone over 5 feet 5 inches to sit and have their underknee joints hang off the couch. Otherwise, the 73 width is very good for two people to sit and not be awkward. Me and my boyfriend bought one of those little beanbag chairs and we lay back and prop our feet up on that when we watch TV. This couch really does appear to be good quality. Unlike other reviewers, I didn't have much problem with holes and other parts being misaligned. For how torn up the box looked, the couch was well protected. Difficult as hell to bring upstairs though. Anyway. There's a picture someone posted where the fabric on the backside doesn't reach the bottom of the couch to velcro in place. Do not be deceived. The fabric does reach. You just have to tug it and stretch it tightly to secure it to the base. It doesn't just flop down there. The tightly stretched fabric looks cleaner and better quality. As if there is a wood frame underneath even though it's hollow, review number 4. At first, I was a little doubtful about it, being that some assembly was required, but once it was assembled, L fell in love with it. Just great for napping and watching TV. Review number 5. This love seat truly is just okay. I didn't expect it to be more than okay for a little over $300. It's not a high-end piece, but for a studio apartment, it's good for extra seating for guests. You would not want to buy this if you want the back exposed. It's just Velcro and fabric. It's not deep, 
as described, it's compact, functional, and I built it myself in less than an hour. The package is one box, that is extremely heavy and hard to maneuver, be wary if you are in an apartment complex, or don't have items delivered directly to your front door, you will likely have to open the box and take the pieces in one at a time. Review number 6 I paid $600 for this couch. I needed something fast, and I didn't have any help with moving. This couch was chosen because of free two-day delivery in a box that I would be able to move myself. The delivery person brought it into my apartment, but it was small enough to move myself if he had not done that. I've posted photos of the legs. The couch has six legs, and the one in the middle back is extremely crooked. It's crooked because the screw tunnel is crooked. This will likely decrease the lifespan of the couch, but it hasn't caused any problems other than aesthetics in the three months I've had it. I also don't like how it feels to sit on the couch. The back cushions are overfilled and take up too much of the seating space. I do enjoy the quality of the seat cushions, however. They're firm and have springs inside the cushions. Review number 1 after reading some reviews I expected a nice, but smelly couch that would have unmanageable cushions and misaligned hardware. I appreciate the cautions of others because it made me take extra care to follow directions. I also watched the video that was on the Amazon website. I put the sofa together alone in about an hour while my grandson was napping. I live on the first floor so I didn't have trouble with stairs. The sofa is a little less deep than I anticipated, but it is very 